Hello everyone, welcome to The Smart Student. My name is Chelsea Seaburn. Welcome to my little corner of the internet where I do my best to make the lives of online college students just a little easier. Today's topic is simple. It's gonna be a short video about Wikipedia and should you use it in your reference list? I'm gonna start with the do's and don'ts of Wikipedia and how you as an online college student can use it as a resource to your advantage. And then I'm gonna end with a demonstration of how you would actually cite it in your reference list because it does differ from how you would cite a traditional website. But go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. I wanna start with the confusion of Wikipedia. You see, there is a lot of debate out there of whether or not Wikipedia should be used as an academic resource. The short answer to this is that Wikipedia is not a credible source, therefore you should not use it as a reference, especially if you're writing a research paper. Now, that does not mean it cannot be used in the research process. Let me explain. You see, the reason why Wikipedia is not considered a credible source is because technically anyone can make edits to the information in a Wikipedia article. What this means is that there's always a chance that what you read on Wikipedia could either be false information, it could be biased information, or it could be information written with technical errors like grammar or spelling mistakes. Now I will say this, the technical errors usually get fixed fairly quickly, but just be aware that you might run into them sometimes. Even though it's not a lot, since there's always that possibility that what you read in Wikipedia is either false or mistakenly written, this opens you up to liability. That being said, there is a time and a place for Wikipedia in the academic world as an online college student, hence why I'm making this video. So Wikipedia is what's called a tertiary source. A tertiary source uses a combination of primary and secondary sources to make a simplified summary of the material. Other common examples of tertiary sources are dictionaries or encyclopedias. So think about it like this. Wikipedia sounds a lot like encyclopedia. Would you use an encyclopedia as a reference in your research? Probably not. However, you still might use it in your research process. And the way you might use it is to either gain a basic understanding of a concept or maybe the starting point of your research, which is exactly how I suggest using Wikipedia as an online college student. It's great for looking up general knowledge like when did World War II end? So what you'll do is you'll use the information that you learn in Wikipedia to gain a general sense of that topic, but also use it as a starting point as your research. So you'll take that basic understanding that Wikipedia gives you and then do more complex, deeper searches with credible sources that you can cite in your reference list. The last note I'll make before we get into the demonstration of how you would actually cite it in your reference list is when you read information on Wikipedia, always read it with just a little bit of skepticism, meaning you're not taking everything for truth and you're taking it for face value, which is fine because if you're using it in the beginning of your research, these are all things you're gonna verify with credible sources later. Now, I know I just made a big case for why you shouldn't use Wikipedia as a source in your reference list, but I know that some people still will. And so I, at the very least, want to make sure that if you're going to use Wikipedia in your reference list that you are citing it correctly. So now I'm going to take you into my computer and show you how you would do that. Hello everyone. Just so you know, I'm going to be doing this demonstration using Google Docs on a MacBook computer. I'm using Times New Roman size 12 font. And the first thing we're going to look at here is the template I've created for a Wikipedia reference list entry. So even though Wikipedia is a web page, the way you would cite it in a reference list is going to be different than the way you would cite a web page. The way a Wikipedia entry is different is that if you notice, there is no author element in this template. Also, in the source portion of the element, notice that it's asking for the archive version of the page rather than just the standard URL. The reason there's no author element is because the author of a Wikipedia article can change, meaning that the information in the article can change, which is why you want to use the archive version of the page. So you understand, let me go ahead and demonstrate a few examples for you. So here are three completed Wikipedia reference list entries. Okay, so let's say this is the article that you want to use. What you want to do is come up here to where you see View History and click on it. All of these articles here are the archived versions of this page. 
So every time new changes are made to this page, it gets updated and all the past ones are here archived. So what you wanna do is click on the one that you're viewing, which is typically the first one because it's the most recent one. If you'll notice, this memo pops up where it lets you know that this is the current revision of this page. Once I have this, I can now make my reference list entry. So starting with the title of the article, I would go ahead and type that first in sentence case, meaning that the first letter of the first word is capitalized. I'm gonna type out the full date here, starting with the year, followed by the month and the day, enclosed in parentheses, ending with a period. For the source element, I'm going to type out in Wikipedia, Please note how Wikipedia is italicized. And lastly, to complete this reference list entry, I'm gonna copy and paste this URL from the toolbar. Now, anytime someone clicks this link, it's gonna take them to the same version that I referenced. No matter how many times this Wikipedia article changes, I will always have the same link going to the information that's cited in my paper. If I were to click on these other two URLs under these Wikipedia citations, it would be the same thing. I included this last one for some giggles because it's a Wikipedia article written by Wikipedia about why Wikipedia is not a reliable source for academic writing or research. <laughs> All right, guys, in conclusion, there is a time and a place for Wikipedia in the academic world. While it should not be cited as a credible source in your reference list, it's a wonderful tool to use in the research process. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe for more videos like this if you're not already subscribed. Bye, guys.